My Beautiful Last Signs, we're here to do your Twin Flame update. Yes, you can look at this in the yin to yang, and I would suggest so. This is going to help you to get back into balance and to start manifesting that road forward. Now, I have pulled the what, why, where, when, and how through the chakras to hone in on the blockages and what's happening between the connection. Um, I am seeing at the moment, especially because we do have Mercury retrograde in Libra, which is the air signs, I am seeing it coming through in the read where there is a lot of healing. Now, the amplification of this is the burnout of the mind, and the mind directly is coming through because of Mercury, but it is also, you know, it's, it's causing issues. So psychologically, um, the third eye is coming up and it's the intuition and you, you do feel you're in the hangman position, but it can be mental burnout. What's going on at the moment can be um, that, you know, due to really feeling quite distorted with it, I am seeing potentially for a lot of you, uh, there is this um, situation relating to the past of what went down and this can be a betrayal like what happened um maybe feeling the unfairness and the connection um but also really purging that so it is that you are healing but at the same time both parties here in this direct connection are moving through a healing stage and it does feel almost like you want to protect yourselves and you're keeping each other at bay um there is also the subject relating to why this is happening why it is happening, funny enough, is relating to Mercury retrograde and Libra in the heart chakra sense. And it is to do with forgiveness and reverse. It's something to do with the past and its closure, trying to reach that closure and peace inside yourselves. And it's funny, the screen just went blue. And again, you know, sometimes it's the truth hurts. And, and so... We can be telling ourselves things based on our instincts and our third eye. Yes, there could be some things that both parties have experienced directly in the connection. And I do feel it's almost like two people sitting very separately, but you're not because you're mirroring, is that the concern here and why this is going down, why the delay is happening at the root of it is that some sense of inner peace and safety within the heart chakra is on protection zone, which is perfectly normal. But at the same time, with the chi energy to join in the twin flame path, um, when we're going through these psychological wound clearing spares, it, it can delay things to a degree. So number one, I would suggest doing a guided meditation through the heart chakra. So when you're going to bed, um, when you are having those moments where you, you're jumping into it and you're thinking on it, uh, you know, number one is acknowledge what is coming up. And I, I did a bit, little bit of a um, Instagram update yesterday. So if you want to go and have a look at it, there is an interview with another twin and I got her on live. So it would be something really good to look at to give some examples as to how this is playing out. And, and she was a fellow air sign. So what I'm seeing with this is... On your sleeping realm, if you can listen to a guided meditation for the heart chakra, I am developing them at the moment, which will be on the website later to do those channeled messages, but also more subliminals to help you remove those blockages and feel safe. There is this need for the openness, but at the moment, um, you know, th there's these feelings that both parties are needing to protect themselves. And so through the third eye of healing and thinking and regressing, also directly relating to the past and the path with each other, both parties here in the what is going on is you don't quite know what to think. You don't quite know how to feel. You're tired of looking at old stories, but accidentally so the old story is manifesting the new story. And so the reason this is happening for the connection is so that both parties can build that, um, you know, ha find that inner peace inside ourselves. We are entering into a new chapter where you are right now is, look, at the moment, you might be basing a foundation based on, okay, is this person with a karmic? You also may have, um, you might feel split. And this really has been coming up for the air signs quite a bit. It is to do with Saturn and Aquarius. It's almost like we're directly needing to have a firm foundation. And again, can we be, uh, you know, I've learned so much on this twin plane path. It's really quite a unique thing. I'm going to pull another card. 
it's almost like how do i put it some of you yes you may be feeling the reasons why things haven't come is because of the karmic some of you directly could be feeling um that you want to have a love based on a real foundation which is fair enough some of you are entering into and that there's something to do with the celebration coming up but i do feel it's almost like you want that happiness back in your life so where you're at is you do want it and how you're going to attract it is by healing the heart chakra. But I also feel simultaneously two energies can be coming in, but it's up to you to choose what is so. Regardless of whether you are with twin or whether you choose to be with a soulmate, the funny thing is these blockages spiritually do come up. And in order to dive in deep, um, you know, we need to be whole and we need to be open. Ultimately speaking, uh, you know, how, how this is going to be sorted is as Mercury goes direct. And this is what they're showing me. So at the moment, there's this holding space and it is between both twins. And the holding space is there until about the 18th. And I do feel this is surrounding a celebration. This is also where Divine Masculine is going to be more in their ascended state. And especially this is a very pivotal month. Um emotionally because as we're having transits going forward we're also having jupiter going direct as jupiter goes direct it links to masculine that's when you're going to see the physical um movement within it i do feel both parties are knowing thoughts words actions need to be tackled that's how it's going to be dealt with that's how it's going to be solved both parties do know that they can move beyond the wound at the moment it feels a little bit distorted and it feels emotional there is a frustration relating to timing and the funny thing is from a manifestation point of view within the twin flame connection you actually the timing is now um sometimes we tend to think you know we're looking under our armpits we're thinking can we heal even the smallest of subjects that do come up, and it doesn't feel small to me, air signs, it does feel quite emotional and large. You can move beyond it within 24 hours of manifestation, communication and movement. If you find yourself psychologically dipping, you need to move it back to this moment and tune out of the white noise of what you think or fear can happen and you bring the whole connection back into alignment and it flows naturally. It's a little bit like a plant being planted in fertile soil and universe doing its work. That's really the way you need to look at the energy between your connection right about now. Now, when this is happening, I do feel I'm seeing two dates. A, it can be an era celebration, three dates actually. B, it's also as Mercury goes direct, near around the 18th. I'm also feeling when, again, Jupiter relating as Jupiter moves direct. So let's see the date for Jupiter. Hmm, okay. There you go. The 18th. Same thing. All right. Mercury and Jupiter simultaneously. I do feel this is moving you, but you're not going to see it coming. But you also need to not tune into what the masculine needs to fix because that's attachment. And again, if there's any attachment, the two chakras I would recommend right now to balance would be a guided meditation when you're sleeping. And that can be the heart chakra. And it also can be the sacral chakra. And that's more because at the moment Mars is in Libra. So we're embodying the masculine energy and we're going into fight and flight. So try and lower that chakra. Focus on the enjoyable energies. Shift the focus at the moment psychologically onto the things that are pleasurous. Onto the things that you maybe have a creative project um you know get into the peaceful states look at yourself and understand you're divine and you're lovable and you can attract this and allow that energy to come towards you and see and enjoy your company and i do see it's almost as you i'm hearing the term little miss muppet so i don't know tough it and it's like you know don't get scared know that you do have power as well sit in your authenticity um, but I, I'm also feeling you're wanting to be loved on. You're wanting to be nurtured. And I feel as you start doing such and really embodying that love inside of love, I'm seeing that the energy is coming through for Divine Masculine and they're moving towards you. 
I don't think both parties are going to say this. And I do feel also, spiritually speaking, I'm sensing that the masculine is thinking quite a lot about this connection. Um, yes, they might have dipped into victim consciousness. They also may have felt they don't know what you're doing. They know that this situation has been unfair, especially if there was a third party. But between you at the moment, there is a brand new cycle coming in and there has been a little bit of squabbles. And that can be on the ethers of the 5D or directly the 3D. Both parties do want the same thing. Um, and Divine Feminine, if you have been guided to step back and, you know, not... What would the word be? That's good. If you have been guided to step back and really own what you want in this connection and you feel psychologically it hasn't been moving, hold tight. Because what you are going to get by living in your truth is attracting that same vibration to you and you're going to get your star. If you want to come through and have a look at the extension come through, we're going to dig deeper and I'm going to give you more updates about how they're directly feeling about you. Otherwise, I'll see you on the Friday for the Twin Flame updates and in the Members Hub. We have three sessions there a month. They are at $11 for the whole month. If you do want to come through and ask private questions, come and join us. Love and light. Thanks for joining Yildiz Readings 5D. If you do want more content like this, number one, we have it regularly. Number two, we're live every Friday as well as having separate sessions in the Twin Flame Room, three additional a month that is private. Come through and get the support you need. Or if you need a booking, you can go to the link directly below and my website link is there. Love and light, I'll see you for the lives and the super chats on Friday.